deal. I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill. In today's video, we're gonna look very quickly at how we can adjust latency and how you can use that in Logic Pro. So if you're playing something out in MIDI or perhaps recording, you can keep it in sync with your track without constantly falling out of time. It's really simple to do. Uh, and everything is basically available to you up in the Logic Pro menu up here. So if we just click on here, go down to preferences, go down to audio here. Now we need to have a look at our audio driver. Now at the moment I'm recording a video, so I've got this thing called Boom Audio, which reroutes my audio. But in most of the cases, you're gonna have that as your audio interface. So for me, that would be my UAD here. And then you've got the buffer size for that. Now the buffer size directly corresponds to the sort of latency, the buffer size, right? So mine's set to 128 samples. That gives me a round trip of 5.8 milliseconds, which to be honest is enough to throw you off when you're trying to play something because it's just going to be ever so slightly out of time if you're trying to play in time with something else. So what we can do, we've got this recording delay here and we can effectively bring it back or forward in terms of samples. So I know I've got this 128 sample delay, which is my 5.8 milliseconds. Now we can go the other way and add it up, but equally, we can just go in here and type in minus 128. That's basically going to create a little buffer for us in Logic so that when we play, it's going to be in time. Now, if you're really struggling, you've got a slower system, you might want to bump this all the way up. You could go all the way, to, in my case, to say 1024. And then we could very simply just do minus 1024. And it's going to do that little buffer for us. So we've got that recording delay and we can still play in time, even on a system that maybe can't process a more complex track nice and quickly. So it's nice to know that it's built in there for you. It can really help. Unfortunately, when you're doing things like live streaming, it can fluctuate a bit, really, really difficult. But if you're just recording, you've got a lower spec system, you need to have a larger buffer size. This is just a nice, easy way you can counter it. So I hope that's helpful for you. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.